Hey, welcome folks. Bob here from BobsPlumbingVideos.com. Have you ever tried to take a shower arm off and that little piece snapped off inside the wall? I've done it many times. There are several tools out there to help you get the piece out, but there are two of them in particular that work very well for me, and that's what this video is all about. So stay tuned. That's all coming up. Hey, welcome folks, Bob here from BobsPlumbingVideos.com. On this channel, I provide free plumbing tutorials for people who don't want to call a plumber. No scientific data, no fancy chemical breakdown of the materials I use in these videos, just common sense solutions to everyday plumbing problems. After all, folks, you shouldn't have to take out a mortgage to be able to afford a plumber. If you're new to the channel, I highly recommend you subscribe. Also, don't forget to hit that bell notification so you'll be notified of when I post a new video. Now, let's get into this video. Oops, I almost forgot. Get lost. All right, so this is not going to be a long video, but I'm going to walk you through the procedure. And pretty much for whatever reason, uh, maybe the chrome is ratty. Maybe you're putting a different finish on and you decide you want to change the head and the shower off. So normally, you know, what I would do is I take the head off first and they come off pretty easily, generally as a rule. Now the shower arms, sometimes they come out, sometimes they don't. Now initially what I like to do is when I'm putting them in and even when I'm taking them out, I put the handle of my channel lock pliers in there and in a counterclockwise fashion, I will start to, uh, you know, unscrew the shower arm. But a lot of times I get a lot of resistance and I don't want to force it too much because sometimes that piece that's in the wall is not secured and I've... Uh, very rarely, but at times I have snapped off the piece inside the wall. And if that happens, you're in for uh, an expensive plumbing job. So what I would do next if the channel lock method didn't work is I would come in here now. Once you screw that uh, chrome escutcheon plate off, I'd go as close as I can to the shower room against the wall. This way, if you make any teeth marks in it, when you do put the plate back, it'll generally cover the teeth marks. But I like to use my little offset six inch wrench and I will come in here, I'll put my six inch wrench on here and I will adjust it accordingly, close as I can to the wall. And I will proceed to try to get this off. And more often than not, what happens is that when this comes out, I end up breaking the, uh, the threads off of this thing. So what you're left with is a piece inside the wall. So now the trick is how do we get that piece out? And we're gonna show you that right now. All right, so you see in here is the broken piece. There are several tools out there, nipple extractors, easy outs, and they have many names. And what I find is a lot of them are long and narrow. And basically when you're, when you're, when you're trying to take a piece out of an elbow, these pieces are so long and narrow that by the time they grab the piece inside, uh, they hit the back of the fitting and it renders them useless. So in that case, you either have to cut the tool off, which is a real pain in the butt, or what I have found is there are two companies that I use that make tools that basically are short and stubby and they get the job done well. The first tool is by a company called Superior. And this is specifically for removing the broken, uh, the broken threads inside of that elbow. Now, one word of caution, when you do remove the arm, the old arm, if that piece behind the wall is not secured, I've been in situations where this piece is either swapped off to the left or swapped off to the right because it was loose and it's not connected. If that happens, uh, it's a little bit of an issue, but we're not going to worry about that now. We're going to assume that this is secured cor correctly. So what, what you would do simply is you would take this, you would take this tool, you put it in here. And what I like to do initially is give it a little, give a little tap to, to set the, to set the flutes inside the, uh, the piece that's in there. And then you, you're going to proceed, you know, your, with your six inch wrench, with your adjustable wrench, with your channel lock pliers, whatever the case may be. And you will take that piece out of there. And as you can see, now that came off pretty, pretty nicely. And if you want to get that off, you simply take the tool and turn it cl clockwise to onset the teeth. And I will see if we can do that here. I want to grab onto this. And if I there you go. So that comes right out. So this is made by a company called Superior Tool Company, and this is specifically made for removing the broken threads inside of the shower elbow. And it's kind of 
got a short and stubby, um, a short and stubby profile, which makes it work really well. So that's tool A. Let's talk about tool B. All right, tool B. Tool B is a tool called the gooseneck gripper. It's a T-handle, again, with a short stubby profile on it. And same thing, you'd put that in there, and what you would want to do is actually give it a tap. Again, tap it to set the, uh, to set the flutes in there. And then you could actually come in here and you could push on it and just as you did with the previous tool, take those, take those threads out of there. And they both work really, really well because, as I said, they're short and stubby. So there you go. They're the same thing. You want to get it off, you got to turn it to the right and to release. And there you go. Comes right off. So... Two tools that I carry in my tool arsenal, depending upon, you know, how far the piece inside the wall is set back, I'll use either one or the other. They work really, really well. The one in my right hand is by a company called Superior. The one in my left hand is called the Gooseneck Gripper. One thing I want to bring up, sometimes that fitting in the wall is set so far, far back that the tool is barely able to be sticking out of the wall here. And what I have found in some cases I can do with the, with the, with the superior tool is either with a three quarter inch or a nine millimeter socket, I can actually get that on there. And then with my uh, three eighths ratchet, I could, uh, I could get that off and it works well. So three quarter or nine millimeter. And if you have to, you can use an extension. It depends on how far in that, that, that fitting is generally they shouldn't they should be right behind the wall they shouldn't really be in that far because shower arms have a limit as to how long they can be anyway and that's it guys so that's a pretty simple procedure nothing uh, you need to be a brain surgeon about but i just wanted to let you know i carry these two tools in my tool arsenal i will leave links to both these tools in the description box below i hope this video was helpful i look forward to seeing you in my next video and yeah, that's it. The gooseneck gripper and the superior tool shower arm extractor. So there you go, folks. Two really useful tools that I keep in my tool arsenal. I'm going to leave links to both these tools in the description box below this video. If you guys are enjoying these videos, I highly recommend you subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you'll be notified of when I put up a new video. But more importantly, hit that like button. When you hit that like button, YouTube puts my videos in front of more eyes, thereby helping more people. Folks, keep an eye out for one of the two videos that are going to pop up here to your right. One of them I chose, one of them YouTube chose. I want to thank you once again for stopping by my channel. And as always, stay well and happy plumbing.